Hello all, Hunter here, and welcome to the newest episode of This Week in History for the week of November 6th through the 12th. Just seven weeks remaining in 2022. If you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it if you keep watching until the end of the video for a minor update about my mom and a small channel update. Now, on with the video. The 6th of November is the 27th anniversary of Art Modell announcing that the Cleveland Browns would be moving from Cleveland to Baltimore. The obviously controversial move was met with legal actions from both the team's season ticket holders and the city of Cleveland itself, with the results being the Cleveland Browns' name, franchise history, and records stayed in Cleveland. The team that moved became the Baltimore Ravens, technically considered an expansion team. The Cleveland Browns we know today resumed play in 1999. It was 55 years ago, on November 7, 1967, that Carl Stokes was elected as the mayor of Cleveland, Ohio, making him the first African-American mayor of a major city in the United States. Montana became the 41st state 133 years ago on November 8, 1889. Now it's time for the customary mid-roll self-promotion asking you for all the good stuff. Drop a like or a comment, share the video, follow or subscribe on TikTok, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, Facebook, wherever you see this. Those things are immeasurably helpful to the channel. And that's enough of that, so let's get back to the video. November 9th marks the 39th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, as East Germany opened checkpoints in the wall and allowed East Germans to freely head into West Berlin. The United States Marine Corps celebrates its 247th birthday on November 10th, although I must admit my confusion as to how any of them survived before crayons entered widespread use in the late 19th century. Relax, relax people, it's just a joke. I'm Army, they're Marines. There's kind of a natural competition between us. The major fighting of World War I ended with the signing of an armistice between Germany and the Allied powers 104 years ago on November 11, 1918, although the war didn't officially end for another seven months with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. Americans know the celebration of this day, formerly Armistice Day, as Veterans Day. 130 years ago, on November 12, 1892, William Pudge Heffelfinger, and I swear to you I'm not making that name up, became the first professional American football player in history when the Allegheny Athletic Association paid him $500 to play for them in a game against the Pittsburgh Athletic Club. By the way, that $500 is the equivalent of $16,308.13 today. Just a quick mom update. She's doing much, much better, but she's really wanting to go home to her own house. I mean, right now she's staying with my sister, which is not ideal. She is walking short distances, albeit with a walker, but she's getting there. I mean, she's really just too stubborn to do anything else. I would like to thank everyone for all the prayers and kind thoughts from all of you about and for her. It means a lot to me and her. On to the channel update. Unexpected History on TikTok now sits at 9,705 followers as of this recording. Just 295 to go until I can apply for the Creator Fund. I cannot thank you enough for getting the channel this far. I don't know how long it takes to actually be accepted into the program, or even how much it pays, but hopefully, by this time next month, I'll be making some of my own money to help Mrs. Hunter pay our bills. She's been a lifesaver for me in more ways than you can possibly imagine, and someday I will actually share that tale. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and until the next time, may your days be pleasantly unexpected.